everyone i hope you all doing great um yeah it's been an interesting weekend lots of thoughts going through my mind and this morning as i was getting ready to uh go to site at kuburg uh, i was thinking of all the changes that's taking place in the world right now and you know us as a family we made a decision in 2017 to sell many of the things that we don't need uh to build up a nest egg which served us in 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 a really good state during the the pandemic period uh where business was shut down and only certain people look after and um subsequently to that we looked at the evidence around the world in south africa etc and decided to to have a place that we can call home away from uh most of the risks and um only time will tell uh, how much that will serve us uh, the best interests of our family but i think if you if you look at evidence and uh, it's, it's actually sad that evidence is showing us uh, where things are going if you look at evidence and you are aware of what's happening in the world what world elites are deciding for us what governments are allowing them to do to them through funding etc and and their policies then if you want to remain free you actually have no choice the decision is made for you and this is kind of how i feel i feel like i'm forced to do things i wouldn't normally or naturally do and it's it's unsettling it's it's upsetting as well um the fact that you have to spend time effort uh money etc to create a safe place away from uh most risks and you know you could have a meteorite strike you wherever you are on earth so i don't know how many places are actually safe unless you uh, are very deep underground maybe and that's very complicated so uh, most people can't do that only governments have the funds uh, to make themselves safe uh, from catastrophe certain governments certainly switzerland uh, most people have underground bunkers but that's not what i've chosen to do i've chosen to have a place where i can just live as normal as possible alive under under the circumstances where surveillance is everywhere where um, the use of ai i have nothing against ai ai can serve many good purposes but where the use of ai um, is directed at us uh, citizens and you know when governments use things against their citizens like the police like the military like our government has done in south africa um, you need to be prepared for that in future because that because they were allowed to do that they'll do it again and next time it'll be worse it's very much the same as a criminal when they do something the first time it might be more difficult but the next time it's easier to either kill or rape or maim or whatever the case may be or, or even steal from people so our government <clears throat> is going to be emboldened like you cannot believe and they speak like that in the media right now and they feel like they're on top of the world and don't listen to the petty politics in between when it comes to the united nations agendas they will implement them like one swan song and uh, even people that you see as a resistance to the current uh, gnu government will do exactly the same there's very few people that understand uh, the threats within the world and that is fine you know at the end of the day I believe that South Africa will rise above this, that there'll be enough of a critical mass of people created by uh, many social media channels, individuals, etc. Even if we might not agree on many things, they do want freedom. They do understand that our, that our freedom is under threat and uh, that those people will come together when the time is right to do what is necessary to remain free. So I trust in that. and. Um, Maybe my trust is misplaced, but up until now, um, just looking at the people that I have met around the country uh, that are special, unique, that understand, that, that search, that try to, to find new information, I trust that my family will be safe and that we will be fine. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not yet and go watch our past videos. Please consider joining as a member and watching the membership videos. Uh, tonight we will do the membership live that we were supposed to do last week Thursday. Many things have happened since and we will see the members tonight live at 8 o'clock. See you then.